Mark, through to the Dietate German Masters final. Um, it's your second final in your last three ranking events. Um, what's the key at the moment? Um, I think it's just on a run and winning a lot of matches and building confidence and it's just growing and growing, I suppose. Tonight you beat Judd Trump 6-1, a really impressive victory. Was it key to apply pressure early? Um, well, yeah, I, gotta, I know I've got to get off to a good start. I mean, I'm not going to... It's very difficult to outpop Judd or outscore him because... You know, at the end of the day, he's the youngster coming through. I'm sort of the old fella, but uh, I knew, you know, I can out safety him, and you know, if you, the frames go scrappy, then I can stay there all day and try and win him. And you know, I got on top of him. He, he didn't play very well, missed a lot of balls, and and towards the end went for some absolute crazy ones, which uh, you know, got me opportunity to have a good dish and win in the end. You, you play with a poker face. Your, your style can be quite hard to play against. Do you do you feel that that's that's a, that's a difficulty for some players when you're kind of stroking them in? Um, yeah, you, you you know you try not to show your opponent anything, even though if you're feeling it inside or not, you try and show him nothing because you know people can feed off off if you show them any emotions. You know, Jed didn't show it, you know, any emotions. He's quite good like that. He didn't play very well, but it, you know he was wasn't there shaking his head or nothing like that. And, you know, he's good like that, but, you know, he didn't play very well. Um, but I'm over the moon to get the final. That's 48 match wins for the season. I think you've lost just nine. Um, is it your best season since back in 2003? Um, yeah, possibly. You'd have to go back and check the stats, but it's pro- it'll probably be up there. It's uh, very consistent at the minute. And, you know, I, I suppose I'm on a crest, big crest of a wave. Obviously, it's going to come crashing down, but fingers crossed, not tomorrow. And I'll just keep riding it until, uh, until it crashes. Does the volume of matches help you going deep a lot in tournaments now? Does, yeah. that, does that help? Yeah, of course it does. I mean, you know, the, the, the better you do, the more matches you win, the confidence grows, isn't it? It's like anything, you, you sort of get used to winning. Whereas, you know, I've been on the other end, I've got used to losing for, for years as well. So, you know, I'm just, you know, every final I get, I enjoy it even more now because I know, you know there's probably not, not that many left, I suppose, you know, because, you know, I'm not getting any younger. And, but, you know, I'll enjoy it, definitely. And the atmosphere out there is, is electric, isn't it? Unbelievable. I mean, there's like 2,000, 2,500 people shouting, cheering. It's, it's unbelievable when it's at one table. Uh, it's probably as close as you can get to the Wembley Conference Centre, which was my favourite venue. And, you know, it's probably just behind now, but amazing atmosphere. You won back in 2011 here, um, looking for a second title. Graham, what next? Yeah, Graham, I haven't been to a final or won a tournament for a while, so, you know, I haven't won a tournament for a while, so this season, so he's going to try and break his duck as well but I know I just I'm not worried about who I play I'm just over the mood of being a final I'm looking forward to it best of luck Mark thank you